can take the cam bolt out now. Are you trying to tighten it? No. No. Oh. That's reverse, dude. Wow. Is it rotating the whole chain? Something's trying to rotate, but I think it's the whole crank. Before you take that off, push it back in alignment. Make sure the threads are okay. Yeah, we didn't use a puller on it, so. However, I do see a little bit of metal that got spun. It still works. Yeah, I'm just going to have to be real meticulous. Well, we're taking the oil pan off anyway, so it won't matter. Holy crap. So you seem to have the power tool to knock us out of alignment with our dot. I can see it from here, so we're going to fix that. Not off by much. That's enough to count, though. How's that? Makes me happy. As long as it's close, we'll finish lining it up when we put the new chain on. Alright, remove your bolt. And you're going to want to clean these parts. Now the chain, the gear, the magnet, all that gets replaced. The bolt gets reused. A lot of oil in that bolt too. Hmm. Remember, you got to pull the guide back and then pop the chain off. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. Oh. All that oil coming from? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think there'd be that much oil in there. It must leak a little bit past there to lubricate the chain. You know i got to pop this tensioner next? Well, you can pull the tensioner by hand, pop the chain, deal with it later. Like we did on the Series 1. Want to just pop the upper cam gear off? Yeah. Uh, but you got to pull the tensioner back on this one. Pull the tensioner back, grab the top. Uh, yeah, I need a pry bar. Yeah, you can do it with a pry bar. I did it by hand. I can't do it. This tensioner is under... Oh, I guess it's not. It's weak. Now, you're not doing that with the new one. I guarantee you that, but you can get away with the old one. Well, give me a pry bar so I have... have... Okay. It's the only one I got near me. I'm just I'm not strong enough to push this back with my left hand and so what you do Kev is put the chain or put the whatever tool you have in between the chain and the guide oh, that down pop the top off it's that easy off completely just to take the damn thing off, man. Alright. Okay, it off. What's really cool with the 3800 Series 1 and 2? Yeah, I like it. Slides. No pressing needed. Alright, well that guide's getting replaced. Those things are junk. Don't ever reuse them. You're a fool if you do. And another thing is I had the timing chain video out a while ago. And I actually had someone go in and do the tensioner but didn't replace the chain. Well, guess what happened a month later? chain died. And I felt sorry for them. But I knew as soon as they said they put that tensioner on without the chain, it wouldn't have been long. Alright, we're going to take the uh, tensioner off next. And then we're going to start the massive cleanup we got to do here. I really wouldn't be using that tool. Now he's going to remove our balancer bolt and we're going to slide the uh, oil pump adapter gear off. 
because the oil pump is actually driven by this chain and collar as soon as he pulls it off. Well, at least we know that thread will hold, Kev. It makes me happy. In and out. Pull that sucker off. Alright, last order of business. That nasty tensioner. Now, some you push on. This one, I believe, is going to be a bolted with a security bit. No. Sure. Now I'm looking at a very small screen. I can't tell you. I just know it's got to get off. I gotta have the strength to do this, man. Yeah, I know. You don't have the arm strength I do. I don't know why my arms are so strong. They just are. As you see, the tensioner is simply on bolts. There you go. Alright, to do the cleaning, I'm going to leave the uh, balance gear on. You're wondering, whoa, has this thing got some weird technology in it? Kind of does. The Series 1 uses a balance shaft, and I'll show a picture now of what a balance shaft looks like. And the idea is when one, in, one side of the engine is firing, the other side is thrown off. It's supposed to make a cup of coffee still, but eh, V6s will always have a little bit of it, harmonic imbalance, which is normal when they're running right. So Sometimes you take those off, sometimes you don't. We're going to leave this one alone. There's no reason to touch it. We're not having any mechanical problem with the balance shaft, but the rest of this all got to be cleaned. We'll get to that here shortly. Right now i got to get all the stuff out to get cleaning. All right, welcome back. We're uh, going through the cleanup of the timing chain service. Um, this did start out as just a timing gasket job, but there's no reason to go in this deep and not sit there and do the chain. Before we tear everything apart, it's clean for uh, the rebuilding process. I do want to show you where the gasket failures occur with this gasket. Seems like the water pump side of it or the cover, they call it timing cover to block, is a real bad leak point. You can see from here over time it just builds off and the reason being is this gasket's plastic with a little bit of bead right there and I can actually see that the bead is now gone I mean it's there but it's not sealing this side being the oil control side you got the water flow through right there but as you go down you actually have the oil pump feed or line pressure right there and all this just becomes a major major leak point and it will eventually catch a car on fire. I've seen about 10 of them in the junkyard, all various years with this engine. So I'm going to get all my tools out for cleaning. What I like to use, I like to use a dull, let's see right here, dull chisel, not a sharp one, dull one, works great for this. It's my favorite tool of all time, an old putty scraper. We actually put tape on it so we uh, don't lose this. Use one of these to get in tight corners, even tighter corners. Pick might actually work better. Flashlight, so I can really see once you get it clean, because you cannot have any old gasket material there at all, or it'll just leak again. And we want to do this once right the first time. All right, let's get busy. All right, if you notice, I've actually put some newspaper here in the cooling ports. I have a piece of tape on the bottom. I put that there just in case people don't want to do their oil pan. If you don't have an oil pan leak but you're doing everything else, sometimes that gasket can be reused, but ours is going to be replaced. None the same, put some tape down, cover the holes, do your job, get it clean, do it right once the first time. Alright, let's get started. As I was saying, this is a plastic gasket and you can just see all the junk that's going to fly. Before we put this all back together, we will take a shot back and we will actually clean all this up so it's nice, new, and clean again, like it should be. This gasket does not like to come off. 
I've done this for a number of years and there's just no easy way about it. This gasket sometimes is just a nightmare. Sometimes you do get lucky though. You're going to be careful not to gouge your surface either when you're doing this. I have a couple various tools I use but I try to pop this off in one go. See like that how that broke. We gotta get all this clean. We don't want that in the gasket. Get that stuff back in there. Okay, and notice here's a dowel pin. Sometimes this one will come out. This one does come out. Pull your gasket out. That one wasn't actually too bad. Sometimes these can be real fighters. We still got to clean the surface though. Don't let me fool you there. My next favorite tool is this guy right here. I just like to come through, just lightly level the surface. Try to get any electrolysis off. You just need to get the surface clean again. See, like right there. That would have been a little point. It's not glamorous work, but it's got to be done. Early in my career doing this stuff, I would hurry, get stuff done, and be like, hey, look, I'm a fast tech. And then tech guys would be looking at me, laugh, wait a week. Yeah, speed kills. As a senior tech once told me, he goes, why is there always uh, never enough time to finish it right once the first time, but there's always enough time to finish it right the second time? And I thought, man, I got to really just figure this out, and I did. You know, it's called take your time and make sure it's clean. Cleanliness next to godliness. Session you're dealing with 3.8s with oil pressure control in your front cover. This gasket has to seal or it blows oil pressure clean this way. Like this one was doing, you see where it's all just... Yeah.